When we ring in the new year, just hours from now, dozens of new laws go into effect across the country. One of the biggest changes in Colorado, my home state, where starting tomorrow, folks 21 and older can go to a state-regulated store and buy an ounce of marijuana for recreational use. But some store owners say they are not sure how many people actually will purchase pot. Anywhere between five and 5,000 people, and that's kind of how we're viewing it, just because we don't know. I've been talking to a lot of my friends, and they want to just be able to say that they purchased marijuana the first day it was legal. So I think that will happen. Some other laws starting on January 1 are new voter ID rules in Arkansas, Rhode Island, and Alabama, plus stricter regulations for tanning salons in Illinois and Oregon and a ban on using cell phones while driving in Illinois. Attorney Chip Merlin joins us live from Las Vegas. Uh, Chip, we have to stay abreast of all this stuff because ignorance of the law is no excuse, right? Absolutely. Ignorance of the law is no excuse, but it's even hard for us attorneys to keep up. The Bar Association, certainly right after the first of the year, will be coming out with all kinds of continuing education credits just for us. But certainly there's all kinds of brand new and very unique laws many times involving tech, technical issues that are expanding within our society as well, social issues, just like marijuana. Well, one of them, one of them comes from Illinois. We've featured some Illinois laws in this segment, but one of them in Illinois uh, using drones, uh, unmanned drones, is going to be regulated now. Apparently PETA put out the word that it might be able to harass hunters and fishermen by using drones. The Illinois legislature said, no, not, not going to do that. Well, you know, drones are a great example of technology changing, and there's all kinds of great commercial uses and private uses that really can help society. As a matter of fact, the FAA is, now have six areas designated for commercial use, and they're going to be experimenting. So what we can expect now is the states are going to come back and try to regulate and pass other laws about what are the proper uses of drones. Do we have to be worried about them for giving up our privacy? Can the police use them to hover for hours on end? How long can they keep this information? So it's not just going to be in Illinois, but what we can expect is other states next year to pass more laws. Well, here's one that uh, smokers who visit the state of Illinois ought to know. If you flick your cigarette butt on the street, you can be subject to a $50 fine. Well, you know, and there's other laws that say that if you're with your children, you can't smoke in your cars. As a society, we've always allowed certain things to, to happen. We can drink. We can drink in our own homes, but you can't take out liquor onto the street. So we should expect these types of laws to continue, but now they're going to come about because we're also using them for marijuana. Are we going to be allowed to use marijuana if we're doing some type of recreational activity? I don't know, but the one thing we can expect as things change, technologies change, society changes, we're always going to have new laws. They're going to try to uh, help with respect to what we think a society ought to be, the proper morals and how we conduct ourselves with everybody else. That's why we have new laws. Yeah, those legislatures have to keep themselves busy, don't they? <laughs> Chip Merlin, Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you. Thanks.